Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2013. You can see Jarrell there almost full. So we will be unloading him today or this episode. Uh, yeah, he's about to reach 100, so we'll quickly go ahead and hire Joseph here. Then we'll tab back to our truck. There we are, 99, and he should be full right now. There we are. Alright. We probably won't get a full load. In fact, I'm next to positive we won't get a full load yet. Because canola really doesn't give us all that much, but it's just not a very high yield crop, which is why it's worth more than the others. But I mean, still, at $3,700 per liter per unit of canola, that's a price that really can't be beat. Ooh, rainbows. So that's what we're going to be taking advantage of this episode, along with the previous episode. That's what we've been doing the last like two or three episodes. It's just taking advantage of this huge, massive, great demand on canola. And just the coincidence that I just happen to be planting a ton of canola right at the time that the great demand decided to pop up is just amazing and really turned out great for our farm. It really gave us more opportunities, opportunities to invest in what you guys want, so make sure you guys... Uh, let me know. Oh, and the lawnmower that tipped over last episode. I'm not going to worry about it until this whole big spiel is done. Because I really just don't want to be worrying about having things upright before or during something as important as this great demand. So I'm not going to be worrying about it. I'm going to park the truck right here. And then we'll go ahead and go back. Oop, it was just there, darn it back to the cow farm while we wait here we are we'll go ahead and grab our tether see I'm not gonna worry about uh oh yes we can I'm not gonna worry about tipping those back over right now I'm gonna wait till there is no great demand to worry about all right now we just have to turn this on like that there we go, and I have no idea what speed we can do this at. Let's try... two. And it does kind of spit it everywhere, unfortunately, but... No, what are you going to do? I mean, we're, it, hopefully it should all just come into one, like, neat little row in the end, so... I don't think it'll matter that much. We'll get this stuff up here little bit forward there we go then we'll grab the rest of this there we go two all right you can see this takes n next to no time at all I was about to say no time at all but then I realized that's physically impossible because in order for it to take no time at all, you'd be able to time travel, you know, going to the speed of light. But that's a whole nother story that is really nerdy and geeky and... Yeah, it's just all geeky and nerdy, and like I just said. However, it's very interesting if you're ever interested in what exactly time is. I mean, just like Einstein, he was interested in what the heck light was. Which we still really... I mean, we know what it is, but... Do, we don't really know how to like um, what you would call uh, recreate it in different forms like we do with helium and stuff like that and it's just really interesting to learn what exactly it's about and oh oh nope nope tether tether no 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 there you go alright well we're kinda of making a mess but hopefully we'll be able to just clean it all up in the end with the forage wagon we'll just drive around with it you can see in the right hand corner, Jarrell is right around 31,000 right now. Not a doing a two of a batter. Hey, mate. Canadian. I believe that's what they sound like, at least that's what they do in the movies, so. That's a fair stereotype. That is completely fair. Oh man, I'm just thinking about what we could invest in with this stuff. My goodness, I know it's been the talk with the last like two or three episodes, but I mean. Really, come on. How how would you not be uber excited? Yeah, uber's a word. Yes, it is. 
How could you not be uber excited about what the heck we're going to spend all this money on? Oh my goodness. Can't wait. And we're almost done tedding this field. And then we'll go ahead and grab the larger, bigger thing and just put it into little rows. And while we miss that, be... What's the fold? Uh, campsite tonight. Bu -bu 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 X. There we go. Then we'll go ahead and back this into position. Shouldn't take that. Oh man, that's right. This thing does not like to back up. So we'll just drive it in then. Because it does not like to back up at all. Just drive through here. Up a little hill. Or mountain, I suppose. Because it has like cliffs on it. Small ones, but they're still cliffs. And then we'll just back up to our... I don't even know what they call this thing. A big circle thing that we're going to use to put these this grass into rows. And we started off the cow production with quite a bit of money, which was really nice. Anyways, let's go ahead and turn that on. So, B. Um, Alright. Two. Alright, now we just have to keep this straight. There we go. And you can see it's now putting it into nice, neat little rows. Oh, so perfect for picking it up in. How adorable and amazing that is. And we'll stop. Turn it off. Because it, this part's very crucial that we get correct. Because I really do not want to be missing a ton of stuff like we already are. So, we'll turn that back on. Two. There we go. And you can see we just grab the other side put it into rows and there are bigger ones so you can have more grass within a single row and you're not really losing anything in fact you're not and then yep yeah, I was almost afraid that we were about to lose that there but we didn't because I planned it that way alright then start the next row I'm sure you can just go at oh darn it turn all the way around then I'm sure you can just you know like turn around like you please but I prefer to do it this way. I mean, it's just my preference. And if you guys want me to do it off screen that badly, then just tell me and I'll go ahead and do it off screen. I'm just doing this on screen because it's the very first time that we've done it on our channel, or on my channel, so that's why I'm keeping this on screen for now. And then after this, we'll bring the forage wagon in here and pick up all the remnants and all the good stuff. That's not necessarily good, but I mean, it's it's stuff so I got half of half of my statement is correct so don't don't be starting to you know criticize and stuff all right I'm keeping a hard eye on Jarrell and he is now at 83 percent so we still have a decent amount of time to go before he'll need to be unloaded oh whoop I just stopped the the, the thing in the back and not the tractor <laughs> so we hit a tree isn't that how it always goes? When in doubt, you probably hit a tree. B2. There we go. Grab the ends. There we go. Alright. Trying to keep these things as straight as I possibly can. They're looking pretty straight as far as I can tell. And you can see Jarrell is now reaching in the 90s. So I think after this row, I'm going to go ahead and go back down there and get our truck into position. Do that. Truck. There you are. Let's get you down to Jarrell. And we won't. Just the fact that we've only had 44% filled now. We're probably not going to be filled. We're going to be filled with another 12,000. So we'll be filled with a decent amount, but definitely not full to our or to the point that we'd go and sell it. But all right, so it looks like you're going to need to make one more pass after this. And then we'll move on to the big field, which would be pure. I mean, like, just pure. Oh, well, I mean, it's all pure profits. I don't know what I'm talking about. I was going to say pure profits, in case you couldn't tell, but... All right, so let's go ahead and get in position now. There we go. Unload Jarrell. I think we'll stay. Nope, we'll go ahead and go back. 
we'll just get this guy all lined up and then as soon as we reach Cedro, I'll reach zero he'll continue on his way and then I'll just move the truck out of his way so there we go turn that on two there we go all right Ooh, hey that that would be a decent thing to do and you guys don't know what I'm talking about but I do I know what I'm talking about but it's to count how many times I say alrighty in a in an episode. Yeah, my guess is that'd be a lot. All right, we'll go to move the truck out of the way. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wrong thing, here we are. All right, we're almost full. <clears throat> Another 12,000. So as soon as he finishes this field, we'll be good. But then as soon as he starts the next field, we will need to sell it so this episode we should be able to see the five hundred thousand dollar mark when we sell because we should be selling this episode which is really really nice i mean the sooner the better and i mean i suppose i could do the rest off screen if you guys really wanted me to leave that in the comments all right two there we go and then we should finish picking up all of this this episode as well so Oh man, can you imagine how many cows we'd be able to buy with 364,000? We'd be able to buy nearly 150,000 cows at $2,000 a piece. Yeah, that's a lot of cows. Yeah, that's a lot of cows. Yeah, that's a lot of cows. Two, there we go. Alright, and the lines are almost created. Or, I mean, a lot of the lines are created, but, I mean, they, they we're almost done creating the lines. And this should be the end of it. There we go. Fold it up. Back it up. Drive over here. Do a little turnaround thing. And then we will be able to start with the forage harvester. The first time we'll use that. And again, the, this forage harvester is very expensive. I believe it was like 99 some thousand bucks in the game. So that's very expensive, so really don't want to be scratching this thing. Alright, so I believe we have to lower, don't we? No? Do we just turn it on? Yep. Alright. So let's get into position. I just realized all this is taking place during the day. We usually harvest during the night for some reason. Then we'll go to... And there we go. You can see it appearing in the forage harvester and the forage harvester filling up with all of the grass that we just put into a pile. And again, we have this corner up here that's gonna be kind of hard. I suppose I could have got it with the big round thingy, but I really wouldn't have done much more, honestly. So we'll just come up through here and we'll turn around, come back down. Holy cow, we're already at 6%. And that was just one little row. Come back down through here, and we'll get the rest some other time. Pro, I mean, it'll be right after this. All right, we need to go check on Jarrell. He is probably at the end. Nope, nope, nope. That guy needs to stop. He's done. Uh, apparently, I am in Jarrell's way, so we need to move that. Let's do that first. Let's get out here. Our time is wasting. There we go. We'll just turn this guy around and we'll meet Jarrell at the other end. There you go, Jarrell. Keep on uh, harvesting and spraying a bunch of the straw out the back. Poop is what I like to call it. Even though it's not. It's not poop, but it sure looks like it should be. Alright, come on, Jarrell. You're almost to the end. Let's just get there. Here, I'll just start unloading you now, because you're going to have to stop either way. Alright, uh, Joseph, which is no longer in that tractor, is going to have to move. There we go. Alright, you are full. Let's go ahead and get you positioned on the next field. And I don't believe we'll have enough room in our truck and trailer to fit another full load of Jarrell. So we'll have to stop. So we'll have to go ahead and sell this right now. I mean, I suppose we could fill it up too full, but then I'm afraid Jarrell will still have like 50%.
and then we won't be able to get back in time and stuff will start to rot and I just don't think it'll turn out very good so I think we're gonna go ahead and sell it in hopes that the price will not go down too much more than it already has it's still at 3700 and it still goes for another 16 hours so I mean we're, we're looking okay I, I actually we're looking really good as far as finances go gonna have to ask you to move don't turn jeez excuse me goodness oh man we should have brought our transport trailer we could transport this harvester so much faster oh that's right we have bees how many of you guys remembered we had bees I didn't no just kidding I did but we just really hardly ever check on them they're probably keeping our uh, worker payments down pretty significantly I hope they paid off by now I mean we paid 20,000 for them and deny that's a front loader pellet fork job for which I do not like using that's what we can upgrade the front loader with the pallet fork to something much much better but I'll let you guys decide what exactly we'll invest in because again oh that's right we're going vertical that's right not horizontal so I need to realign this guy because this guy goes vertical nearly perfectly so there we go, we'll line them like this, higher. In case if you guys are wondering if I have fixed the field, the answer is not yet. The reason being is because I've been so busy trying to get Euro Truck Simulator work, and I did, and then recently I decided, yeah, no, we're not going to quit. Boop, pop, blip. So, I should be doing that shortly, even though I am working on the other Let's Play that I talked to you guys about, the X-Plane Road Trip. Let me just explain through the details here right now. You guys will be choosing the destination. I'll choose the aircraft for the first, like, season. Because we only have one aircraft per season, and then we just fly to wherever you guys want, as long as you want. And whenever you guys are ready to switch aircraft, you guys just let me know and we'll start a new season and wherever we end up will be our hub for that season. And then I think after maybe a hundred or so episodes, we'll see where we end up and then that'll be our grand finale, I guess. And we'll do something in that, in that one area, maybe a giveaway of that scenery from that area, if there is scenery for that area. Alright, so we're still going to the inn. But anyway, so yeah, that's it. I, the first aircraft, I'm not decided yet if it'll be a payware, freeware, or one that comes with. It's probably the it's probably 50/50 between pay, payware and the one that comes with. And if you guys are wondering what Xplain is, it's Xplain 10, and it's for the Mac. Of course, it's a fl very realistic flight simulator. In fact, it's been rated as one of the highest rated, or one of the best flight simulators out there, most realistic. And, um, so yeah, that's about it. You guys choose where we go. You guys get to watch me fly there. It may or may not be with other people, like in the co-pilot seat, or in a different plane, or maybe not another person at all. You guys don't know that. Why is Jarrell stopped? Stopped at 22%. Oh, there it goes. It's... All right, you can see we are already above four hundred thousand dollars and we we just passed just a little like halfway we will be reaching five hundred thousand dollars this episode and hopefully a million in total oh geez no no i still want you connected there we go and hopefully nearly a million dollars in total after our new mega field is all harvested and that is taken that the great demand price will stay at its price so you can see we have five hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. No, we have five hundred fifteen four hundred twelve thousand dollars. So that's how much money we have. That is a ton of money. Make sure you guys are leaving comments on what you guys want to be bought and just what you guys want to see in the next few episodes. If you guys want cow equipment upgrades, uh, overall equipment upgrades, the uh, semi trucks that can stack the wool and the bales automatically I have no idea how to unload the bales although I think it's I think there's a button in there in fact I'm pretty positive because in the test I'm pretty sure I tested that but if you guys want different mods which there should be more coming soon unsure of when however and then I will fix the one 
feel the new oh come on trailer just work I'll probably update this truck too if there is an update so the trailer isn't flinging all over the place like this I mean I am kind of causing it but I'm just trying to stay straight I mean that sounds weird I'm just trying to stay in a straight line or drive in a straight line but so this was this episode it was very successful we are making a big dent in our new field and we are beyond a half a million dollars only by 15,000 but we're beyond that we don't have any debt to pay off so we should be able to reach over a million dollars hopefully I'm unsure if we can or not if we get two full loads from this big field we will be able to reach beyond a million dollars so make sure you guys like subscribe and tune in next time to see what happens and I thank you for watching